Okay. So it says that the mic is on. Yeah. 
Okay. Yep. You can hear me now? Okay, so everything's fine? Okay. All right, thanks. Okay, bye. All right, so we're all good? I think we're all good now. Okay, okay well, let us know if you ever can't hear us, and uh, yeah, just make a comment, and we'll, we'll work on it. Yeah. Sorry, I'm trying to figure out how we normally have things. I have no idea. It's, it's whatever, I don't know. Okay. This is fine. All right, so it's almost Christmas. Yeah. <laughs> Gosh, now it's bothering me. I don't know how we normally have it. We usually have it just is that screen. I know. There's some other thing. It's fine. This is fine. Can you do like view full screen? No, because there's something else that we do. Okay, we'll I don't. Just... This is fine. Actually, I thought I saw. Eh, whatever. It's fine. Okay. <laughs> All right. Sorry about that. Huge delay, everyone. Mm -hmm. All right. We're launching this back up. Yeah, as I was driving over here, so I was listening to, um, I have, you don't want to get more lives? Fine. I don't know what our status is on lives right now, we but have five. we should have more. But so apparently, Rice was just telling me that for going to the Netherlands this next year, that some of her sisters-in-law might be coming too. I know there's another. <sighs> yeah, because I mean, originally we were planning on, well, like, we were toying with the idea of invite or like of going with some of our friends, and then they decided they didn't want to go. Oh, they did decide that. Yeah, because I think because it's not outdoorsy enough for them. Okay. Um, but also, like, I don't know. I I was kind of relieved because I I was afraid that you know that they wouldn't like it and then they'd be mad at us the whole time <laughs> and then hate us afterwards and I'm like I don't want that yeah uh, so uh, so we were always planning on meeting up with uh, one of my cousins in law okay because he's in England right now and he's he's has like a two year uh, term there I guess you could, it's not a term but like it's a two year program yeah so um, we met up with him when we were in Porto and then we thought, oh, like, you know, we'll go on another trip here in the next year before he leaves. So we thought we'd do that. Um, we haven't talked to him yet about it, though. But So we thought, oh, well, since we're already going to meet up with him, maybe, you know, maybe his sisters would want to come, too, since now that they're all working and not poor college students. <laughs> yeah. Zapper's here, and he's saying hi. <laughs> hi, Zapper. I like your banana guy. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, and... Merry early Christmas. Yeah, it's not Christmas yet, but it will be soon. Yeah, I was, as I was driving over here, I was listening to Mannheim Steamroller. Oh, nice. Because I have it on my phone, and so I use my Bluetooth and you know, mm -hmm. all that fancy stuff. Yeah. Uh, so, yes, yeah, so I was listening to it, and I'm like, man, Mannheim Steamroller is just so good. And I decided, because um, I have listened, because my husband also put Trans Siberian Orchestra on my phone. But it's not as good. It's not. I decided I really just don't. I mean, a couple of their songs are good, but I just really don't like it. It's okay. too too rocky. Too much. Get, oops. Too I uh, like. Too much guitar. Yeah. Okay. So I decided I like Mannheim Steamroller better for sure. Well, you know, I was listening to a new Christmas uh, like CD. Oh yeah. So was it Anne Murray? No. So here's the thing. Um. Argus kind of spoiled one of his, it was like, he told me he would give me half of my Christmas gift, like part of it okay. before Christmas. So, cause the thing is we were driving to his hometown, which is only like an hour and a half away. Is it that far? It's more like an hour, but the thing is from where we live in the city to like get out, like it's probably more like an hour and 15 minutes. Gotcha. Um, but anyways, so for the trip, he's like, you know, I, I think you, you'll just like this gift. Like if I just give it to you now kind of thing. Okay. So you know the piano player on Twitch, Lara6683? Yes. So she, first of all, is amazing. And she plays like mostly video she game is, music. She is. She is amazing. And like movie soundtracks. But um, she works with a violinist and together they have like this Christmas CD. Oh, that is so cool. So we listened to that. But so the thing is, this is kind of like an extended story. So we, the plan was to listen to that, but we were taking our cat. 
and cats especially my cat they don't travel well usually so the things we had gotten like a bag thing because we had a cat carrier but like she didn't like that very much so the bag looked funny so i saw online there's like this cat bag where like there's a little hole for their head and you can like cinch it tight and then their body is just in this bag and it's the pictures online made the cats look so chill and i was like this is gonna be great so i got it for cat and she hates it so um naturally so the thing is i was like holding how her. many how many lives do you think i should get how many do we have 25. that's probably enough well i'm gonna go through one more time since i okay. already entered the level yeah um so yeah she doesn't like the bag and she was sitting on my lap and then my husband was driving and I was just like, okay, this is fine. She'll just keep meowing the whole trip. We're trying to listen to this nice CD that Argus gave me. And so then, but then I was like talking to Argus because I was like, whatever. Because normally she'll meow and then we'll be like, sorry, cat, you know, it's all right. We're on our way. But then we decided, okay, we're going to kind of like just ignore her for a little bit. So I was just telling Argus something and I was talking for quite a long time and she didn't meow. Oh, so we figured, she didn't want to interrupt. Exactly. So we figured out if I'm just constantly talking nonstop, <laughs> she won't meow. But she'll meow if Argus is talking. But Interesting. If I'm talking, she won't interrupt me. So, <laughs> so I talked for like an hour straight and I was like, what do I talk about? And so then Argus is like, well, just tell the story of Harry Potter. So I started with book one <laughs> and we got to um, like Halloween. So I had to keep going back and be like, wait a second, cat. I never told you about the, all the different houses. And like, cause I was like, you're so confused right now, cat. So I, it was, <laughs> that is interesting. <laughs> but yeah, she, she likes hearing you talk. Yeah, so that was our trip. It it was kind of tough to like keep thinking of things to talk about. Yeah, I mean, because I I was talking about Harry Potter, but then like the order of events sometimes is kind of difficult to remember, like yeah. the finer details in the story. So I'm trying to be as thorough as possible. So how far did you get again? Only to Halloween. They just defeated the troll. Oh that, wow! And that was girls it. Got, yeah, because I had to keep going back, and I told. I told Kat all about Quidditch because I was like, yeah, Harry's on the Quidditch team now. And I was like, hey, I got to tell you all about Quidditch. And I also gave like a little background on, um, yeah, the different houses, the founders of the houses, what each house stands for, the colors. Yeah. I talked about the common rooms for each house, like how to get to them. Yeah, how to get to them, like what they're like on the inside. Did that we, we even know do of. this? No. But yeah, it, oh man. It was something. So on the way back, because um, right now Argus and Kat are at my in-law's house, and they're gonna stay there until like this next Friday. Mm -hmm. So um, yeah, on the way back, I will have to tell Kat all about the rest of, I think I'll at least be able to finish the first book. Oh, I'm so close. No, we did do this before, because I think I got it on my first try. Oh, really? Oh, actually, this is familiar with, you know, yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> Well, we left our dog. We left Ripley down at um, at my in-laws' house because okay, because you guys are going right back. Well, because the thing is, yeah, I mean, we're going back on Tuesday. Yeah. The thing is, she really doesn't like car rides. Oh darn it! I almost had it that time. Um, she really doesn't like car rides, and so we were like, well, we could just leave her down there because then she'll be surrounded by like you know other people mm -hmm. and the dog. Yeah. Whereas like if she came with us, you know. We'd be going to work. She'd be home all day by herself. So we mm -hmm. thought, and then she'd have to be in the car again. Oh my god! <laughs> I thought maybe just wasn't coming. Yeah. Okay, one more time, guys. All right. Um, yes, yeah, so we decided to leave her there, and then when we got here, it was kind of weird because it's like, well, we don't have to walk the dog. Yeah. Uh, so she can sleep in. Well, that was what I was thinking. I'm like, I can, I can actually, like, you know, wake up and not have to walk her every morning yeah. and so yeah oh Zephyr's got a hype elephant yep nice I got it um I will say though because the only reason we brought Kat I mean besides the fact that it's always so sad like when we do leave her at home for Christmas and oh. then she's just like by herself yeah it's like that's just sad but um the fact that she lived at my in-laws house for like 10 years we're like she'll hopefully be okay she did spend like the whole first night underneath the bed. Well, it's like we, we had gotten there around dinner time. So she spent that night pretty much under the bed. But then during the night, like while we were sleeping, she did come up on top of the bed. Hmm. Um, but then like over the past couple of days, she's gotten more comfortable. And that's good. Like, so today she was like on sitting on the back of one of the couches in the family room all day. 
So. No, good for her. I know. I'm really happy because I, I felt bad because at first when she was under the bed, I was like, Kat, I really hope you're not going to just stay there the whole time. So just be so sad. Yeah. Because cats, you, you don't bring cats places, but I was no. like, this should be okay because she's lived here before, but... Yeah, so um, one of my sister-in-laws, she so she went to school in Erie, and one of her friends um, came over today, and it was, I think, her first time seeing Ripley. Oh, maybe, yeah. Maybe second time, but she's like, oh, she's just so cute. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, she is. <laughs> you know? Um, but yeah, it was, it was really nice seeing all my sister-in-laws. Oh, cause they were all there? Yeah. So the, and they're all going to stay there like throughout the week. Is that their plan? Well, so the oldest one, do you think that, I bet there's something good over there. Oh man. Probably. I bet Sorty's over there or, um, yeah, we'll whatever check it out. Is. Yeah. Uh, yeah. The oldest sister-in-law, she flew in Friday morning. Okay. And so, um, so my father-in-law picked her up at the airport and then the next sister-in-law, she, the youngest one, she came home on Saturday evening, but we had gone over to our parents' house. We watched Die Hard, which okay. is one of our Christmas movies that we watch every year. Um, so, yeah, so we didn't see her last night, really, but we saw her this morning. And then the middle sister, she she did a red eye, red eye this morning from California to... Uh, to New York City, and then she had a flight to here. And so she got in like maybe 11 a.m. or something. Nice. Uh, but yeah, it was nice to see everybody. And then this morning we went over to grandma's place, my grandma-in-law, so. Um, so it was nice to see her. She was really excited about our Netherlands trip because... Oh, uh, yeah, because the family's cause, from... Well, so apparently time. she is... So his grandma is, like, part German and part Irish. Okay. And, like, and they traveled a little bit, like, you know, ah. like, what is that? I don't know. I don't think I want to know. <laughs> um, Darn it, sorry. But so they, they traveled a bit, like, you know, while they were, you know, young. Yeah. And, uh... And so, anyways, they never, so they never went to Ireland, but she found out that her father was Irish. She okay. Didn't, she didn't know that, because she was raised by her grandparents. Oh, interesting. Because um, her dad died really young. He died at like 32, because he, he drowned trying to save somebody. Oh my gosh, that's so yeah. nice, but so, so sad. Yeah. Um, but so she didn't know he was Irish, so she was raised by her, her grandparents, like her mom's parents, and they said, just tell people you're you're German because her right. her mother was German. Oh, oops, that's my because her mother was German. So she just you know, and people didn't like the Irish back then, I guess. So she you know, so her grandma was like, say say you're German. Wow, you did not helicopter at all there. Oh, it's just bananas. I know. I just didn't know that what was, was over there because I thought that's the way I was supposed to go. Mm. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay, that's all there is up here. More bananas. Yeah, I'll take it. Mm-hmm. Um, I bet there's something on that left platform. I know, that's what I was thinking too. I can do that better. <laughs> can you just jump off left? What looks if I jump off once you get to oh, the top? Oh, yeah, that'll work. Yeah. That's it? There's no. nothing? Okay. It's worth a shot. Yeah. Um, yeah, I thought, I thought it was kind of a funny story, but, uh, oh, but so that's the whole reason why my father-in-law and all of his brothers were swimmers, because his, because my husband's grandma was like, my kids will know how to swim. Yeah. But I mean, like, her dad might have known how to swim, but, because mm -hmm. honestly, like, saving people in general is, like, really hard if you don't have, like, the equipment and stuff, because people still weigh a lot. Mm-hmm. Is this ground down here? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But so we talked to her this morning. So that was nice. Yeah, and then we left after lunch. Um Let's see. Oh, I I had I um Well, so last time like at the end of our stream, 
because i was making chocolate covered pretzels remember yes. before the stream so i finished making all my chocolate covered pretzels that night because i always give them as a gift to my in-laws mm -hmm. and then um after i did that Oh yeah, also because I did that while the debates were going, which mm -hmm. I think you said you didn't watch, right? No, but I read about it afterwards. Okay. okay. Mom and Dad watched the debate. Did you know that? I did not know that. Good for them. Yeah, they watched at least part of it. Well, that's good. Because mm -hmm. I know um, when Dr. Waffle was living at their house, he like they watched the first debate together with him. Mm -hmm. So that's good, them mm -hmm. being active. Yeah. Um... Let's see, what else was I going to tell you? I had, um, well, like yesterday, yeah, yesterday night was my in-laws Christmas party. Oh yeah, so there's a lot of like cousins and second cousins that go to that. And then lots of people I don't know, like there's all these kids, and I was like, I don't know any of these kids' names, I don't even know how oh, they're I can kill those guys. related to my husband. <laughs> um, yeah, I suspected that you could, because you're pretty big. Yeah. Um, but it was good. Yeah, we had the party and um, there's always so much food. And then also I did get a garbage ah, plate for lunch yesterday. Bummer. Yeah. So I did get like, it was called a like JV plate where okay. it only has like one grilled cheese or, you know, hamburger, cheeseburger, whatever it's you have. all you need. need. I know. So, but then they still give you like the same amount of sides, but mm. it was still so much cheaper. I was like, I'm always going to get a JV plate <laughs> from now on because I still didn't even finish it all. Mm -hmm. And I still probably even had more than I should have because mm -hmm. they're really big. Well, I was um, pretty excited to find out that because every Christmas Eve, my in-laws do a brunch with the neighbors across the street, the Powers. Oh, okay, yeah. Um, oh, that's weird. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So they always do a brunch on Christmas Eve, but the thing is, I was since I'm working the morning of Christmas Eve, I thought like, oh, we're not gonna get to participate this year, so I was a little bummed. But then I learned that. So, my mother-in-law, she's like, whenever it's at their house, because they alternate years. Okay, yeah. Uh, so, so whenever it's at, at the other family's house, my mother-in-law, she's like, they push it back, like, year after year. Because <laughs> originally it started at 10 a.m. Oh, darn it. This brunch. Yeah. <clears throat> and then it was 11. And this year it's noon. Oh, okay. But I thought, I'm like, well, I'm leaving work at noon, so... As long as they're still there for an hour and a half to two hours, yeah. you know, we'll get to still go. So I was pretty excited about that. Yeah. I had, um... Oh, I was going to say that what I was not as excited about, because I told you I have all of those um, class passes to yeah, the to, gym. Yeah. So I was planning on using a whole bunch of them over Christmas, but the thing is I can't. Because, um, I feel like there's something. Ah! That was close. That was super close. And now they're dead. Okay. Well, that's a shame. Uh, but, oh, so I can't because we're going down to Pittsburgh um, the day after Christmas. Okay. Which apparently, like, I, I thought maybe we would go a little later, and I was hoping that there'd be classes, like fitness classes that we could do yeah. in that time frame, but there's not, unfortunately. So, uh, so if you want to use any of them, you can just let me know and I'll book it for you. <sighs> okay. But, because we did the yoga class, and Mr. Rice went with me, and he said it was challenging. That breaking it stuff for you. Yeah. Um, yeah. So he said it was difficult, and he's he said he made a New Year's resolution that I think is really good. He made a New Year's resolution. It's not even New Year's yet. <laughs> well, I know he's getting ready for it. Yeah. Is um, he wants to be able to touch his toes? Okay. Because he's not even close. Okay. Right yeah. We went to the yoga class, and the yoga instructor was like, "Okay, like now reach for your toes." And then, you know, she, I guess, looked at him and was like, you know, you can go a little further. He's like, I'm and trying. Then, yeah, and he's like, this is as far as I can go. So um, so he made that one of his news resolutions. I'm like, I think that's a good one. Yeah. 
getting ready for New Year's resolutions. Mm-hmm. I've already got mine all planned oh, out. Oh, Yeah. I need to come up with a couple. It's hard. It's a hard jump. Yeah. Um, I had done some Christmas shopping mm. yesterday. Man, I missed the end. Okay. Yeah, yesterday. Because, um, so the thing is, first of all, I think I told you about that thread I bought that was like $9. Mm -hmm. That's where I died last time, too. Um, and so I was like, okay, well, I'm going to go to Joanne Fabrics and return this thread because mm -hmm. that's ridiculous. So I returned that, and then um, we saw a, um, <clears throat> like, a couple of other things. One of them is like a drawing book instructions mm -hmm. for my niece. Mm -hmm. And then um, there was also for my sister-in-law, she really likes painting. So we actually got her mm -hmm. like some canvases. And we oh, cool. also got like a sketchbook so that she could like plan out. Cause if you're painting that's... something on a canvas, it's like so final, you know? Mm -hmm. But I was like, well then she could plan it out on the sketchbook and then paint it. And what else? But I also came up with, cause I was really struggling trying to come up with what to get for my sister-in-law. Because mm -hmm. last year we had gotten her and then my brother-in-law, um, ha, made it that time. We got them a, was it, a Super Nintendo Classic, you know? Yeah. So, um, which was like a really good gift, so we're like, how are we going to live up to that this year? So, um, I was thinking really hard, and I knew they went to Harry Potter Worlds this year and that they loved it. So oh, I was, good. I was like, I could get, I could get something Harry Potter related. Which, you know, Give the, oh, man. I love everything Harry Potter. <laughs> Give him the butterbeer recipe. No. Oh, the bird died. Yeah, I saw that. Um, no, so what I did do, because you know how our mom has the um, that chocolate frog mold? Mm -hmm. Oh, gosh. Okay, there's, okay. I guess that was kind of worth it. Invisible bananas. Um, yeah, so our mom has a chocolate frog you mold. You have a chocolate frog mold too, don't you? I do, but they're too small because remember I tried to do mm. truffles and you can't mm -hmm. fill them. So I wanted to make truffles. So that's what I'm going to do. Making truffles. But, um, so I needed a bigger chocolate frog mold. So I, I got the same kind that mom has. And then, so I actually bought three of them so I could make some and then I'm going to actually give her one of the molds because I was like, she might want to make chocolate frogs someday. Mm. Mm -hmm. So... Um, I'm pretty excited about it. I think, I think it'll be a good gift. But I have to, so I was kind of thinking for fillings. Oh, well that'll work. Guess it won't. Yeah, I thought maybe it would too. Well, oh, whatever. Are you gonna do peanut butter filled? Yeah, so I'm gonna do peanut butter filled. I'm gonna do some crisp rice. How am I gonna do this? I would throw it on the left and then run up to that thing, so maybe That's what guy... I was thinking, too. Okay, I think I'm gonna go behind this, though, because otherwise... Hmm. Well... Can you... Oh, you already tried that. But if you throw it from over... Throw it here and, like, follow it behind. Oh. Um. I think I'm gonna just say we're not gonna get this one. All right, as long as that's all right with you. That's fine. Okay. Um, okay. <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna do a peanut butter filled. And then I was thinking I would like sprinkle like, you know, crushed peanuts on the back of it mm. so that you can tell what kind of truffle it is. So I was thinking I would do that. Peanut butter, I was gonna do a crisp rice one. Oh. Like a crunch bar, you know? And then I was gonna do one that was a like a chocolate truffle. And then, what was gonna be my last one? Oh, I was gonna do a caramel. I was gonna oh. try to make like a hard caramel. I've never made caramel before. I've so never made caramel either. It's gonna be a little daunting, but I'm I always, excited. I always preferred soft caramel. Well, I know, but I figured, cause the thing is these frogs are so big, I was like, she might not wanna eat a whole one. Yeah. So I was like, she might wanna like cut it in half. So I thought a harder caramel would be better. But, um, so I think I like hard caramel, but only if it's like a small thing. So maybe I should make a soft caramel. I don't know. We'll see what happens, I guess. Because our, our mom was trying to give me, she's trying to just give me like so many candies and stuff. <laughs> so she, uh, 
she had these caramels and I'm like, no mom, I just don't really care for caramel. It's a waste, don't, don't give it to me. Yeah. But what she did give me was this, um, you need to get the green bananas. I saw that. Um, yeah, so she had this thing that's like sponge candy, only it's called honeycomb. Yeah, she told me about that. And it's from Australia. And it tastes like sponge candy, only it's extra, Not as good. It's extra tough, I thought. Okay. I, didn't, I didn't really like it. Okay. And plus, I don't really like sponge candy, so what? I'm like, I mean, it's just not, it's just not my favorite, so I thought you'd miss that. I thought it was too. <laughs> um, yeah, so but I still had a piece, but I shouldn't have. I'm like, Mom, don't waste this on me. Like, other people would like it, but, you know, a cookie or cupcake would want it. I'd rather just have regular sponge candy. Yeah. Well, I think this was a gift from a student. Oh, I see. But then mom also made butter, like spritz cookies. Yeah. And those were really good. I did have a She's experimenting with different kinds of cookies. I, I think she just made it because she wanted to. Okay, I think we can get in the water and get to that bonus. Isn't there thing. that fish that was following you? It might be okay. Well, go for it. <laughs> oh, you just gotta be quick. <laughs> That was quick. Oops. I can try again. Okay. I decided that I think when we get to the halfway point in our stream, I think we should do a stretching break. Okay. We because can do that. Because every day I leave here, I just feel so stiff and I'm like, ugh, I like, I don't ache, but it's like my shoulders are sore and I just feel like, I don't know, gotta loose it up. Okay. <laughs> That's fine. We can do that. Yeah, I thought we could do that. Um, but yeah, my, so I told you how my mother-in-law told us, told us all to pick our favorite cookies, right? Yeah. So she ended up making a whole bunch of cookies that nobody voted for. Oh, what? Yeah. I'm like, I'm like, this well, wasn't the plan. Like, nobody voted for this one. Nobody voted for that one. And yet we're still making them. Yeah. Why? Why? <laughs> yeah. Um, cause like, cause. And then my mother in laws like, oh, and we're going to make chocolate chip cookies. <laughs> and then, and they're like, oh, but nobody voted for, like, one of my sisters in laws was like, oh, nobody voted for those. And then my mother-in-law was like, well, they're your father's favorite, so I decided I was going to make them. Oops. Wow. That's... But didn't he vote for cookies, too? He voted for the gingerbread nut. Yeah so. yeah, so that's what I was like. I was like, he had his chance. Yeah, he could have picked chocolate chip if he wanted. Yeah. Yeah, we had some chocolate ah. chip cookies. We were like right at the end, I think. I think so too. Yeah, we had some chocolate chip cookies yesterday, two days ago, something. I had I had a couple of pizzelles today, mm -hmm. and they were super good. They were extra like crisp. Yeah. You know, because they're supposed to be crisp and not. I like pizzelles. Yeah, I don't I like them a lot. I just don't like the anise flavor. I like it when they're like almond flavored. Yeah, I, I really like the anise flavor and it does grow on you. I think. I bought anise because I I was like, I like anise, so I'm gonna buy it and then but I have no plan for it. Yeah. So I probably shouldn't have, but I did, so. Well, we are going to make I think we're making it on Christmas Eve. We're gonna make some homemade ice cream. Oh really? I'm super excited because I because I had told you about how um, I kind of wanted to get an ice cream like yeah. churner thing. So because I told my my in laws about it and they said, oh, we have like one of the Where? hand crank ones. Where is the um? Yeah, I know what you're the barrel. The barrel. I have no idea. Well, maybe there is no barrel. Yeah, I don't know. Oh well. Yeah. Um. But yeah, so they've got like a hand yeah, cranking crank churner. One. So we're gonna do that. And I, apparently they bought like whatever we need for it. So, okay. um, and they bought some Oreos so we can make like cookies and cream. I'm so excited. Yeah. I think it's gonna be a lot of fun. Oh, cool. Yeah, Sounds I'll, I'll let you know how yeah, it let goes. let me know. Cause I was, like I would like to get my own, I think making your own ice cream sounds awesome and like, did you talk to Cupcake fun. about it? No, I didn't, because but I she, should. She makes her own. Yeah. I don't know how often she does, but she does. 
Yeah. You can move it. I know, I did. That's fine. Um, but yeah, yeah, that sounds cool. Yeah, because I was thinking, because normally I bring things, like I've made ice cream at my, not ice cream, um, I've made popcorn at my in-laws. Okay. Um, I brought popcorn with us. Um, because you know I have that, or I've made like a barbecue seasoning before. Yeah. So that's the kind of popcorn I made, and my mother-in-law said, because I also brought some Boy Scout popcorn that I had bought. Yeah. And it's just like cheddar popcorn. It's good, but it's nothing like, you know, it's... Gosh, I don't know how to work this barrel well. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that was, um, not good. Yeah. <laughs> that's okay, because I don't, I don't know well enough how to control it yet. Yeah. Um, yeah, so I made this barbecue popcorn, and my mother-in-law said she liked it better than the Boy Scout one. Good. So, yeah. And I think it turned out really good, too. I was sure to not be shy with the seasonings, because if you're, you know, if you're too timid with the with popcorn seasonings, it's just so plain. Right. So I made sure that I used, like, I used olive oil, like I drizzled oil on all of it, and then... Um, and then I cut a lot of the seasoning on. But yeah, I thought it turned out really good. Uh, I'm trying to think of what else. I mean, so they've already made most of the cookies, I guess. Yeah. There's only a few cookies they haven't made yet. I just don't know how to like... Yeah, see, that's, that's good. We got halfway, halfway, so now we don't have to do it again. All right. Yeah. Oh, thank you, Arm Noir. They're hosting oh, us now. Oh, thank you. Oops. Yeah. Um, I hope you're doing good. We are playing Donkey Kong Country 3 now. So I think last time... Arnor, wasn't Arnor watching the other day? Or no? Am I confusing? I think you're confusing confu people. I think so, because I think they watched us when we were playing Banjo. Oh, okay. Oof. I think. Um, you know what? I'm actually not sure what the plot was in this one. Do you remember? No, I don't. Um, I don't know. I don't think Donkey Kong or Diddy were really mentioned. Oh man, I went for it. That's okay. It was a stupid decision. Armnoir said I've stopped. I've stopped, stopped by during Banjo oh, and okay. Luigi's Mansion. Okay. Yeah, I I liked Luigi. What is my goal in this one? Just to get to the end? I didn't. You even have to look at what the game is. I know, I did it. But now it's too late. Okay. So just, well, whatever. That's fine. Keep going. Oh my gosh. <laughs> um, but oh, so I was wondering because you know I was listening to that Christmas music and how I love me and Heim Steamroller. Yeah. But I wanted to ask you and our viewers, what is your favorite Christmas song? Oh, I really like Carol of the Bells. Is that like or the birds? The birds. Do? Sorry, yeah, Carol the birds. I think that's what it's called. No, I think it's Carol is it bells? bells. It's one of it's, I don't it's know. Bells. It's bells. You're sure? I'm positive. Okay. It's bells. Yeah, I like that one. Is that do 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 do? Okay. Yeah. That is a good one. Oh, I, I thought maybe I could stomp on it and it'd be okay because I'm an elephant. You know? Yeah. It should be able to stomp on a bee. I I was trying to think about what my favorite Christmas song is, like because I thought you know there's different. Uh, like different categories, you know, because there's like the poppy Christmas song. Right. I will say I really like. And there's the instrumental Christmas song. I do like All I Want for Christmas Is You. I am a sucker for that I, one. I am too. I love it. Oh, darn it. And um, I love and I love that final scene or one of the final scenes in Love Actually where that girl sings it. Yeah. Did you know that they, they actually had that version going on at Joanne Fabrics? Oh really? There. Yeah. I thought it was hilarious. Mm, should I just skip it? No, don't do it. Yeah, because it's just me right now. Culture says, hello, good luck. Thank you. Thanks. Ah. <laughs> um, what were you saying? I was Cut going to say... So I talked about Love Actually and that girl singing it. it. Um, I was going to say that... So there's another song. I don't know what it's called. No, I do. It Well, it has something to do with like the battle's over or something. It's kind of a sad sounding Christmas song. Cause it goes like, cause it goes like the battle is over and something, something, something. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It goes, 
we wish you Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Yeah, yeah. I kind of like that one, but so the new CD I have with the violinist and oh my God. the piano player, um, it like, because with the violin, it sounds... <laughs> That's the same thing I, I did. <laughs> it sounds extra sad, but like, I really like it. It's kind of okay. like a melancholic song that okay. I like, but I, I like Carol of the Bells best. Yeah, I, I really don't know what my favorite song is. Like, as far as instrumental goes, I mean, I already said I love Mannheim C. Yeah. Lord. I love their Good King Wentz, or not Good King, no. God Rest You Merry Gentlemen. It is really good. I love it. It's so good. It gets you pumped up for Christmas. <laughs> it does. <laughs> like, that's the song that I think of when I think of Christmas. I think, you know, the, yeah. the trombone and God Rest You. Yeah, it's, it's, it's really good. good. If you guys don't know it, I recommend just looking it up on yeah, YouTube. Just do a Google search. Mannheim Steamroller, uh, God Rest You Merry Gentlemen. It's really good. Um, oh, yeah. no. Everyone in the chat, what is your favorite Christmas song? Yeah. And though I will say, because um, I generally don't like the churchy ones as much. Yeah. But I do like... Um, Darn it. I, mean, I tried to time it. It just um, didn't work. And I, I'm going to have to figure out which one it is that I like. I, I feel like it's a little town of Bethlehem. Because the thing is, I have, so I have this piano book. And, and I meant to play some Christmas songs already this year, but I haven't. But, you know, as a way of practicing. Yeah, yeah. Um, but I like the ones that sound, like, just have really, like, interesting, like, sharps and flats. You know and what? Stuff. Try, like, try to get some water in the trunk. Ah, you might be able to shoot things. That is a splendid idea, but I forgot how to do that. Ah! Oh man, we should have been doing that the whole time. Oh, so much easier. <laughs> I'm just wasting all the water, it's Little fine. Little elephant. How do you drink again? L. And then you shoot with R. I don't know. It's too risky yeah. to jump. Don't know what's down there. Aram Nora says, um, Malay Kalakamaka <laughs> is a cute little Hawaiian Christmas song. But I like it because the instrumental sounds like a SpongeBob song. It really does. Oh, I don't even know a song. It's it's in, um, shit, we just watched it. Uh, Christmas Vacation. Oh, okay. Um, because he is really that... wants to buy this pool. Right, right. And so there's this sequence where... You know, like imagines, yeah, imagines that daydreaming. they have the pool. And the girl who worked in the jewelry shop is swimming and her swimsuit comes off. Yeah. They don't, you know, show anything. No. But, you know, he imagines. Yeah. Uh, and then the one little girl, the uh, little... Like the niece or something? Yeah, she, she just looks so raggedy. <laughs> raggedy, and You should get some water in your trunk. I'm, I'm going to. <laughs> and you shoot how? With R. Ah! Well, I got you water. Okay. What a waste. I shouldn't have died. No. <laughs> um, well, so far for Christmas movies, I wanted to give you an update. Okay. So, I have watched Christmas Vacation. This I, year? Yeah. Oh, okay. And, yeah, this is all See, the I movies thought, I've watched this year. I thought you'd only seen that once. This so is, that's, that's, my second, that's my second time seeing okay. it. Okay. That's why I was explaining the whole thing. Yeah. Sorry, my timing was bad there. You might be able to do it from the barrel. Oh my gosh. That's awesome. That is so much easier. <laughs> um, okay, and then I watched... Gosh, we're well, almost so, out of water. Get some more. All right. Yesterday we watched... Um, well, so it's more like I watched it by myself. I watched the Polar Express. Oh, did you? <laughs> yeah. I love the Polar Express. So the thing is... Um, my niece was staying over after that Christmas party yesterday. And so, over at my in-laws house, because that's where I was also staying. And so we asked her, because I was like, well, should we like try to arrange to watch it with her? Or should we just like say, well, whatever, I'm gonna just watch it by myself. So apparently like we had asked her like, have you seen it? Do you like the movie? And she gave this look like, no, she really hated the movie. She, like it was a very disgusted look. And I was like, okay, well fine. I'll watch it by myself, that's fine. 
<laughs> so, um, well, the, their whole family doesn't like it. Apparently, when the movie came out, they went to go see it in theaters. Oh. But all of them fell asleep. Like, literally, everyone in my in-laws, like, all my in-laws fell asleep. And Zephyr says, any Home Alone yet? Not yet, but that's definitely one that I'm going to be watching. Nice. Um, cause that's one, I've, I think I've only seen Home Alone like once. It is good. I, cause now I've seen it a bunch of times cause we watch it every Christmas now, but yeah, we had never really watched it growing up. Um, yeah, we, so we've watched, but wait, we one haven't more. Watched many. I watched a movie today. I watched, um, what's it called? The Christmas Story, A Christmas Story. Oh. With Ralphie and stuff. Okay. Yeah. And, um, because the thing is, I hadn't seen it in a long time. Why is this blue fish following me? It might be the light fish, but it doesn't, it's not the right kind of fish. I don't know what it's its deal is. It's just stalking me. It's purple. Maybe he's hungry. He looks sick. He's hungry. When oh. he turns purple, he's going to eat something, and, and hopefully it it's not you. Me. Yeah. Do you think he'll eat that? I don't know. It might be too sharp. Eat he this definitely fish. wants that fish. Eat this fish. There you go. I do not like this guy. Um, yeah, I do like A Christmas Story, though. Yeah. It had been a while, and I just, I really enjoy the bit with, um, the bullies, you know, and they play, like, the, um, what's the, you know, like, the wolf? Yes. Peter and the Wolf? Peter and the Wolf. They play that music, and it's just so intense, and I, I like that. Um... Arm Noir said that they saw Home Alone a couple nights ago. Okay. And they say, now I know where your filthy animal line comes from. Yeah, it's it's good, because um, cause you said you've only seen the movie like once. Yeah, and so, when we were younger, like I don't... Oh, okay. Like I don't remember it at all. So you know, the kid's alone, and, yeah. and he... There's burglars coming, right? Well, yeah, but so the thing is though, he's gotta survive, and so he can't cook. He's only like six years old or something. So um, he orders a pizza, but then like he has a movie and he's like, he's arranged it so that like, you know, he just presses pause uh, and then like plays the movie. And so. Um, I just did that. Oh, you did? Yeah. Well, then why were you going back because there? Because I wanted the fish to eat the thing. Oh, I see. Well, we're gonna do it again. Cause I don't think we have any other option. Okay, well, Aaron Noir, oh. Yeah, As they say, animal. keep the change, you filthy animal. Blossom animals. says, this ah, game has a lot of interesting failing stages. Culture says, I wish I could hold my breath this long. Oh, yeah. Yeah, me too. They're pretty talented monkeys. Um, so the Christmas movies I've watched so far this year, I watched... So I watched Love Actually. That was the first one I watched. Then we watched Christmas Vacation, and then we watched uh -huh. Die Hard. Yeah. And... And I... Oh, I also watched Christmas Chronicles. It's, yeah, yeah, you told me that you were watching it. Yeah, I watched it with um, with one of my friends. Why were you going so fast? Because I was trying to find a fish that it would eat. He can eat the spiky thing. Oh, he can? I didn't realize that. Um, actually, I watched another movie. I watched, was it like Christmas Baby or something? Oh, so there's one a, of those dumb movies? Well, no, because there's a Netflix like series now. The first one is called A Christmas Prince. Yeah, no, so The second I, one is Christmas, like the royal wedding or, you know, something yeah. like that. And then the third one is, like, the Christmas baby. So I watched that one. The spiky thing made him pink. I wonder if he didn't like it. Isn't pink his good status? I thought, he turns, blue, I thought blue was his good status. He turns purple when he's hungry. Oh. Actually, I... I don't know. I don't know either. Eat that fish. No, Blue looks like he's good. Yeah, I, maybe he doesn't like the spikies. I don't think he likes the spikies. Okay. Well, we'll keep him away from the spikies. <sighs> oh, but he just ate a spiky. Yeah, well. Maybe. Maybe it'll, like, eat appease him for a little while. Eat this fish. Yeah, just forget the bananas. Let's just, you know, try to get through this level. He keeps eating it. Eat this fish. <laughs> Um, Armour says, yeah, even gimmick boss battles, they think. Yeah, I mean, the ones we've done so far, I feel like they're uh, interesting. Eat, eat the fish. Interesting for Donkey Kong Country games. Oh, yeah, they're, the spiky they're ones, different. The spiky ones make him grumpy faster. Um, so try to avoid giving him spiky ones. Okay. 
Sounds good. Yeah. Have we gotten the halfway point yet? Yeah, I just got it. Oh, okay. But I need to find a fish. Yeah. Well, it looks like he found one for himself. No, he ate one. Oops, I fed it to him. Oh, okay. But, yeah. So, apparently, though, on Netflix, there's... there's oh, an... This isn't looking too good. Oh, there's a fish. Oh, no, he ate the wrong thing. Eat this fish. There's another movie that's kind of like Love Actually, where, you know, it's like, you uh, know... All the different stories. Yeah, all the different stories, and it's like a chick flick. Um... Mm -hmm. So they have another one that's a Netflix original that my in-laws saw, and they said it was pretty good. So I was, no, I'm missing in. That's okay. That's fine. So I was thinking I want to watch that one. Um, well, there was another. Um, it looked. Um, it looked like some kind of chick flick, and I wanted to watch, but my friend had already watched it, so that's why. I see. That's why we watched Christmas Chronicles, which is still a good movie, but it, you know, it. It wasn't that movie that I wanted to watch. Right. And my in-laws had, they watched Christmas Chronicles, but they were not a fan of it. Oh, really? Yeah. No, I thought it was pretty good. Ah. There's the end. Yep, we'll get Oh, it. I had just missed that. See, I thought it was going to open up and like, you know, I thought I was, I thought I was going the way with the end. Yeah. You were doing really well. I feel like whenever I have been playing these water levels, I like die instantly. Well, because the thing is, I wasn't holding Y. Um, so that helps you have more control? Yeah. Just, he needs to eat the fish. Yeah. Eat this fish. Yeah. So other movies that we're watching, I mean, definitely Home Alone. I think that's going to be like our Christmas Eve movie. Eat it. Um, last year, we had watched Home Alone 2, which I had never seen. Yeah, I've never seen Home Alone. Which, because Home Alone 2, like... It's pretty much the same plot, except ah. they're in New York City this time. Instead of Chicago? Well, because he's, like, at home the first time. The second time, they're oh. on vacation, but then, like, they leave him behind. I don't really remember what happened. Okay. But it was the same um, burglars, though, I think. Really? I think so. How determined of them. I know. Eat yeah. the fish. Eat the fish. You know, I, I haven't watched... Because we also like to watch um, The Santa Claus. Yeah, I like that one a lot, but we didn't watch that this year. Oh, good. He can't follow us in here. Yeah, I don't like that fish. Nice. All done. Oh, it's seven. I think we should stretch. Okay. So something's happening. I have no idea. Okay. Well, I'm gonna stretch. Okay. I'm gonna go save. So, and everyone can admire my giraffe shirt. Yeah. I'm gonna do some shoulder rolls. Cause don't your shoulders get tight? No, I think it's because you don't actually use the back of your chair. Maybe. And then I'm gonna pull down. Good for your upper back. Mm-hmm. Twist, twist. Oops, wrong way. All right, now I'm good. Shoulder rolls. You got some height Shoulder for that. rolls, thank you. Here you go. I'm not sure how to get out of the water. Oh, you got out just fine. Yeah. I don't know. This is called Squirt's Showdown. Oh, because it's a boss fight. Well, let's not do that. You can die that way. All right. You sit back in your chair. Yeah, that's, you know, that's what a chair is for. <laughs> oh, I see it pushes you. <laughs> well, now we know. Yeah. So keep on learning. I didn't realize you were pushed off. I thought you just walked off. Well, I kind of did. Okay. Yeah, I think tr just jump, yeah. Ooh. There you go, perfect. Oh, I see. Okay, hit the eye. Oops. I wasn't holding Y. I don't know what I'm doing, such a noob move. That's, that's okay. 
Armnoir says, walked off without consent. Poor little elephant. I know. Poor squirt. He's cute, though. Yeah. Little elephant. But, you know, if I get to do this again, I will surely hold Y. Gosh. Yeah, it's hard to make that jump. Yeah. Maybe we should jump over to the other side. That was a good idea. I'm like, a water. oh no, it's chasing me that way. <laughs> All right, here we go. <laughs> You can also hold up and shoot. Oh. I don't know. Hold up. Like it'll probably shoot water straight up, um, maybe? Try it. Oh. Oh, actually, we we had done that before. Did we? Yeah. Like shoot it up at an angle. Oh, yeah. Now I'll get this one. Damn. There we go. Let's go. I don't know. Eye is like partially open. You see that? Yeah. It's kind of scary. Unnerving. Okay. Maybe if they hit each one twice. Maybe. <gasps> oh no. Bummer. Well, we got this. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, planning on going to that bakery you told me about. Yeah, so in good. Pits in Pittsburgh, apparently, there's this bakery that's amazing. It is amazing. They have, like, the best uh, donuts. Yeah, so... Oh, but I've got him both twice. Yeah. I forgot. No. Oh, my gosh. Okay. We're not going to do that again. Okay. We're going to make that jump. Yeah. Yeah, so in Pittsburgh, there, there's this bakery um, that my sister-in-law had told me about. And it's amazing. Well, at least the cream-filled donut. You have to get the cream-filled donut. Growing up, like that's the kind of donut that we have both always really liked. Mm -hmm. um, so it's because like the cream isn't too sweet, and there's like a lot of cream in there. But the nice thing too is that the donuts aren't huge. Because like around here, we have this donut that is really good and filled with cream but there's two, like the cream is too sweet and then also the donut is like huge. So when you finish oh. eating it, you feel no. really gross. Okay, so they, once you make the it eyes goes the closer, other. Oh, no, okay. it just goes again. Okay. So instead of doing one round of water, it does two rounds of water, okay. which I wasn't prepared for. I should have been, I just wasn't. But yeah, I'm not sure when we're gonna get to go there because the thing is, it's it's out of the way. It's not near. Oh my gosh, I'm like failing it. It's not near any of the places that you know that we're going to. Yeah. So I don't know. It might make more sense to go there before, like, on our way to visiting people because um, because we'll be you know coming into the city instead of having to like go out again. Ugh. Do you think it's gonna do another two? I do think so. Get ready. Yep. trash on this game's music, but it isn't, oh, but this isn't a bad track. Yeah, yeah, this one's kind of, um, got it. jamming. That one seemed easier than other boss fights. Yeah, it definitely was. I thought maybe it wasn't like a real boss fight, but I guess it was. Yeah. All right, cool. All right. 
I guess go in here now. We haven't been in the this house The bears. Yet. Ow. Yeah, whatever. Bramble. Yeah, you're not okay. helping us. Mm -mm. And every you never hear much about Donkey Kong Country Three. Um, it's made uh, Arm Noir think it's the it's their game in the Donkey Kong Country series. Okay. Yeah, I I love Donkey Kong Country Two. Yeah, Country Two is my favorite. Um, I mean the first one is also really good, but I really like having Diddy and Dixie as your duo instead of DK and Diddy. Yeah. I agree with that. Yeah. But Blossom says, yes, yeah, a pretty decent game that just needed better music and Donkey Kong instead of King Kong. Yeah, if they had Donkey Kong, that would definitely be better. Yeah, I mean, Kitty Kong, he's okay. I don't know where we're supposed to go. We should go to Funky's Rentals. He might have us oh, an upgrade. upgrade to like go up waterfalls. Oh, yeah. Hey. Oh, the, the, we got skis. That's what I thought it looked like I won from that boss fight. Oh. It was one ski, we'd gotten another ski I thought ski they were from... like two bananas. I didn't know what I thought they were, but. All right, let's see how okay. this works. Oh. It looks like a little bobsled thing. It does. Okay, so can we go up? Hmm. I mean, we can hop, but what does that do for us? How do you hop? I thought you did hop. No. I guess that's just the way it looks when it goes. Yeah. Oh, like when it went over the rocks, it looked like mm. it hopped. It can hop. This looks suspicious to me, but... I really thought we were going to be able to go up the waterfalls. Yeah. I have no idea. Do you want me to look it up? Maybe we could go on land. Yeah. I mean, I guess. Are you sure? Yeah. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with this. Maybe Funky will tell us. Oh. Yeah. Is anyone out in the chat now? Definitely the skis are supposed to be good for something. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, all the buttons I'm trying aren't doing anything. I just don't get, like, why... Why did they make this third game like this? I don't like it like this. <laughs> I just want to get to the next world. Um, let's see. I'm Nora says, but is Donkey Kong Country 64 as bad as I hear it is? You know what, Argus actually it. loved it. Um, I was just asking about a cave in the southwest. Is there a cave oh. down there? Are you talking about this cave? I had gone in this one before. Well, because it just has those lights in it. Yeah, because we did this already. Yeah. Yeah, Argus says, yeah, Donkey Kong Country 64 is great. <laughs> um, but yeah, I have heard it is a collectathon. I mean, because it's made by the same people as Banjo Kazooie, so it's oh, no. it's like that. But with Donkey Kong sixty four, you have there's like the whole Donkey Kong family, but for some reason it doesn't include Dixie. It has some other girl that has like pigtails, and she flies by twirling her pigtails. Oh. I was like, why don't you just have Dixie in there instead? Yeah. Blossom says, ah, yeah. When you mention it, the world map is kind of clunky too. So there is a third mark against it. I just, I don't get why they decided to do it this way. I don't get these bears. What do they do? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I guess if I read it, they might <laughs> tell me. But and we went, we went to that cave. Okay, so it says Funky will construct boats to travel over rocks and even waterfalls. We've already gone over the rocks, but like, why can't we go over the waterfalls yet? I don't know. Okay, Maybe... so we've got the skis. Yeah. Yeah, and all the buttons I press aren't doing anything. 
Our Nora says, I now demand a poorly made cyborg cyborg con. Clunky con. Clunky con. That'd be fun. Yeah, I like it. Um, and Arm Nora says, there you go. Cyborg evil Clunky con. Clunky con. Clunky. Clunky could have rentals too. Okay, I'm gonna check out this cave again. This see is if there's... so annoying. I can't even find like a convenient. A yeah. Well, the walkthroughs are always so annoying. I think. Well, let me see if um. It'd really be helpful because you can't like search for things like Control F, you know, on a phone. Wait, if you Super see annoying. that loser up at the big house, tell him to keep it down at night. I've got to have my beauty sleep. What big house? And the motorboat didn't let us go over rocks, right? It's the hoverboat that lets us go over rocks. I know, the motorboat does nothing, right? It lets us drive a boat. Yeah. You know, it's still useful. No, but you can't go over the rocks. No. Or through the rocks. We're trying the hover car again. I, I think it must be the skis. I think it must be too, but I don't know why it's not working. But let me get the skis and we'll try again. Don't care about barrels or items in the game. Sorry, this is kind of a long thing. I do think our answer is here. I just I have, have to, to put to... gain around the overworld, okay? Well, I have to put my eye drops in. Um I'm listening. Hang on, I'm not <laughs> I'm not ready yet. I'm down to once an hour. Nice. Okay, just kidding, it wasn't that section. Uh. Oh, I did it. What did you do? I think I just had to have speed. Maybe? Yeah. So if you hold Y, you know, then it's you like go. everything. Gosh. Okay, so I'm gonna go. Oh my and... gosh, this whole thing is. I mean, granted, if we had the handbook or whatever, the guide. Yeah, then that would help us a lot. So we would know how to do things. It's like with the elephant, where like I would have never thought to use L and R to do the water thing. Okay. Getting more birds. All right, yeah. I, I like Dixie. Too. Yeah. <laughs> I really like Dixie. She's cool. I like Diddy. But unfortunately, no Diddy in this game. That's okay. I can play as the clunky guy. Yeah, it should be DK though. Gosh. So we'd have each combination yeah. of monkeys. It just makes sense if this is gonna be the third. Maybe they didn't realize it was gonna be the final one in the series, but. Oh, it just follows you. That's annoying. Yeah. yeah. They're slower though. Yeah. Not perfect. Yeah. Nice. All right. Oh, darn. We still don't even know what those do for us, right? You know, I bet those coins, I bet we use those for the bears. They have bear faces on them. Um, so you could, like, buy things from them? Yeah, I didn't realize that until now. I thought I had enough time. Yeah, it's all right. Yeah. Crepus Creepers. Yeah. That's what it's called. You know, I don't remember if I told you. So, um, for the Christmas party I went to yesterday, mm -hmm. um, we always do a secret Santa with the extended family. So I had one of Argus's cousins. Okay. That, um, this is the cousin I used to go over to his house for game nights. Oh, yeah. I just died the exact same way. Um, so. Yeah, see, it's got the bear face on it. I see. I didn't realize that before. Yeah. I had gotten his cousin a, um, oh. like a yeah. mystery box thing, or it's... Yeah, you told me about it. So it's it. like a subscription thing, but this one is just like a single one-time purchase, where you get this box and there's a mystery that you have to figure out. It's the Deadbolt Mystery Society. Wait, Aram Noir says, I'll give Donkey Kong 64 credit for introducing more characters into a main game. Something Mario can learn from. Yeah, because Mario never does. Yeah. But instead of having to be every character, a character select screen like Mario 2 USA would have worked out. 
better, a game in short, or better a game is short and enjoyable than long and exhausting. And replay value is a thing. Sure is, yeah. Um, I totally agree with that. I mean, I've never played Donkey Kong 64, but I like how in Mario, Mario 2, that you choose your character. I think that's a nice feature. And how each of them have their strengths. Yeah. I mean, granted, we play it, played as Toad a lot. I maintain that Toad is totally the guy to be. He is. <laughs> but, um... There's a balloon that's yeah. going off. Oh, gosh, I didn't even see that. That was lucky. It was really lucky. But you're doing great. Thanks. Yeah, I love a game that's good and you actually want to play it again. Like, you know, getting through a game and being like, nope, I never want to play this again, like, that is a horrible mm. thing. Happened with me in Suit Coden 4. So terrible. Oops. Which, um, Luke had gotten his Secret Santa gifts from my, uh, you know, from the Secret Santa at the party. Mm hmm And so, um, one of his cousins had gotten him a couple games for the Switch. So, he got Cuphead, and he also got, um, the Untitled Goose game. So that one, someone had recommended to us in the chat because Sorry. you're like a goose and your job is to wreak havoc on the town, but you're just a goose. So like, it's not, it's a pretty innocent game, but like, you know, make it so that some kid can't find his glasses. You throw like the gardener's shovel in the yeah. pond, things like that. Um, yeah. So I don't know that we would actually play Cuphead on stream. It, I mean, cause it's Argus's gift. So... I think that maybe me and him would play it. I don't know how to get this guy. That's okay. I don't care if we ever get these DK things. I mean, it's nice okay. if we do, but I don't think we should, you know, work so hard to do it. Um, yeah, so Cuphead, though, is really interesting because it's like 2D, Halfway. like hand-drawn. Everything is hand-drawn. Oh, that's cool. And it looks like a classic cartoon, kind of like a Popeye era okay. cartoon. Um, it's like a shoot 'em up kind of game, but like, oh my gosh. kind of more like a. I'm kind of envisioning sort of like a Mega Man, but because you're like these two cup people, because it's a two-player game. So there's oh, okay. Cuphead, and then there's also like I don't know his brother or something. They're both cups. Armnor says Cuphead. We want to see that torture. Yeah, because it's supposed to be hard, but like people rave about the music and the art style and stuff. I didn't realize it was gonna launch me and I was gonna like stick, you know. My arm noir says, um, I heard about the Untitled the Goose game. Yeah. And then they say Contra? I don't know what Contra is. But, um, yeah, cause, so Argus's cousin that I had him for Secret Santa had asked me like, are there any games on Switch that he wants? And so I even asked Argus, but like I phrased the question cleverly so he didn't realize I was asking like Oops. for someone else. Darn it. So, um... Well, good for you. <laughs> or, um... Oh, so Armnor says, I feel like Cuphead is a play style like Contra or Metal Slug. I don't know either Yeah, I'm not those. familiar with yeah. either of them. But, um... Yeah, so, because... We had, um... We watched people play Cuphead, and it just looks so cool. Like, and from what I had read online, everybody was, like, raving about it. Um, but Argus had said, like... As far as, because there's a lot of games that come out on Switch, but you can also get it on PC. And so yeah. the thing is, like, usually for Switch games, we want it to be just like only Switch, like a Switch exclusive. So that'd be like Mario Odyssey or Mario Party, Mario Kart, Super Smash Brothers. I don't know. I think he's just too slow. Um, I'm even holding Y. Well, I mean, there's only so much you can do when you're this slow ape. I know. Ape. Oh my gosh. It's fine. Okay. That's so why might, we have so many lives. So I might, I might switch to you when I get to that point. Okay. But um, one of the games that Argus said that he did want was um, like Mario Maker 2. Oh, yeah. So the thing is you can make your own Mario levels, but um, Argus is more interested in just playing other people's levels. I there's, like, play other There's people's so levels. many levels out there that you can play. Um, mm -hmm. So he wanted it for that um, reason. <laughs> I probably could have gone faster. That's okay. 
Um, but then Argus even said like he didn't know if he would play it enough to get enough views out of the game. So, and I told his cousin that I was like, he says he wants this game, but he doesn't think he'll, you know, play it because it's kind of expensive. So, mm. um, so I suggested um, three other games that were around twenty dollars each. Okay. So it's more reasonable. Well, this year, because I don't think, because we didn't do Secret Santa this year, so usually we buy like you know we do a Secret Santa among the cousins. Uh, but this year. For some reason, we decided not to do it. Okay. But what one of my husband's aunts suggested was, what if we did one of those like white elephant games? Or apparently, there's yeah. some some other variations that aren't white elephant, but they're you know a similar thing. So I need to bring. I need to remember. Maybe I should make a like a reminder for myself. I need to remember to. Um, I see the guy. Yeah. But I need to. Remember to bring a gift that's worth like 20 bucks. The tough thing with that Which is I... there's like, because I have to try and get a game that's appealing to, or not a game, a present that's like appealing to a lot of people. Yeah. We were thinking like, oh, we could just bring like a bottle of wine or something, but then if the people who are under 21 are playing, yeah. Like, well, yeah, they can't get They're not that. Gonna, Yeah. I mean, sure, they would want it, maybe, depending on their age. But there's some kids who are like young. Yeah. Like, well, I'm not going to give them alcohol. No. But yeah, I gotta think of something. Oh! He came fast. Yeah. yeah. Do you think, like, why are these bees here? To make it hard with that oh, guy. Oh, for when he's actually tasting Yeah. It. Okay, that makes sense. Arm Noir said, I used to think White Elephant required me to buy a plush elephant. <laughs> Oh, uh, that's, that's funny. Darn it. Um, glad my coworker cleared it out for me before <laughs> I bought anything. That's very funny. <laughs> oh my gosh. I yeah. mean, that was, that's always what I picture when I well, hear white it, elephant. I think yeah, white stuffed elephant. Because that was the, like, the first time we did a white elephant, was that when we were like 11 or something with Girl Scouts? Yeah. Um, I don't remember if they called it white elephant or if they called it something else. Because then it happened again, like in high school, we were doing a white elephant thing. And I didn't remember what white elephant was, and I think maybe our mom had told us maybe. again. Um, but yeah, I oh gosh, I wasn't paying close enough attention. Yeah, so I, I like was, white elephant, but yeah, it's too. tough. I was I was trying to think of something, and I was thinking about how you make all those chocolate covered pretzels. I'm like, maybe I should bake something or yeah. I mean, honestly, you know, like something like yeah, that. it's a good gift. It just has to be something that doesn't go bad. Like I made that biscotti. The thing is, it's like, well, I was gonna just give that to. You can my make like a hot I'm, chocolate mix or something like should that. Should I switch with you? Sure, if you want. It. Yeah, I can survive this. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know why I can't. Yeah, I guess he is just. Do you want me to switch back to you? Yeah, whatever. I'll let. Yeah, you can go ahead. Oh my gosh! <laughs> well, that uh, wasn't the plan. That's okay. Oh <laughs> well, that's fine. So I'm gonna try and think of something. Yeah. 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 I would suggest like a hot chocolate mix. Like it doesn't have to be Swiss Miss. It could be yes. like a homemade hot chocolate mix. Right. That that would work. But I would have to buy things that I yeah. don't currently have. Oh, I'll, I'll come up with something. Cause or you could do um. Cause I had some ideas. It, they're kind of like. The same ideas I used for your bachelorette party when I did prizes for people. Because mm -hmm. um, I had one that was like you get Redbox gift card codes. Mm. So then like you could get like five movies for someone and then also give them popcorn. Okay. So it's kind of like a, you like know, a, movie yeah. night. Stay yeah, in you movie could, night. You could even put like, you know, Mike and Ike's or something. Yeah, yeah. Or like the um, cookie dough bites, like things that yeah. you can buy at the movie theater. Right. Um, yeah, that's that's a good idea. I'll try and think of yeah things like that. Cause I was kind of hoping like, oh, do I have something just laying around the house? Yeah, <laughs> that would work. So I'm gonna have to look through. Cause I bet I bet my husband already forgot about it. <laughs> nice. See, the thing is, so I told you about, 
I think I did. So last year we bought a whole bunch of this. So it was it was kind of like a surprise like box of wine. So oh, at the end. <laughs> so one of my sister in laws works for a wine company, and so yeah, you got the yeah. So all so, that wine. So that's we decided not that to good. buy a box of cheap white wine, and then we bought a, a box of like more expensive white wine. Unfortunately, it was all Chardonnay, and we were like, well, what are we gonna do with all of this? And um, I tried. Oh. I tried. Um, I tried making Jello out of it, like okay. like Jello shots only yeah. with Chardonnay, and it actually was pretty good. Okay. So I'm thinking we will just do that with all of. Oh, we can peel those. That's nice. Um, oops, but not those guys. Well, I guess. You yeah, just I think you just hit it at a bit. bad angle. Um. But yeah, so I'm like, well, maybe I'll just make tons of Jello. I mean, not for this thing, but right. in general. Maybe we'll have it at New Year's. A whole bunch of Jello Chardonnay. <clears throat> okay, we got halfway. Blossom says I need to get around to one cc of Metal Slug one day. What? what Metal is... Slug is a, another game that's similar well, to Cuphead. I, I know they they mentioned Metal Slug, but I don't know what one cc means. Nope. Maybe it would be. All clear if I had played. The game. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> but so so, what does one CC mean, Blossom? <laughs> oh my gosh. And I think, cause I, I know I've been saying how me and Argus are going to start streaming. Yeah, you do keep saying um, that. Oh man. Maybe we'll start like after one credit the new clear. year. Oh, okay. Yeah. So one credit clear, so not using any continues. Gotcha. Gotcha. Yeah, minimum death. Yeah. So maybe me and Argus. Oh my gosh! Will I just play. went right into him. <laughs> maybe me and Argus will first play. We have to play Zelda. Um, but then maybe after we beat Zelda, maybe we'll do Cuphead next. And Culture says cubic centiliters. <laughs> <laughs> that would be a CC. Oh, no. All right, here we go. Who needs a bonus game? Not, not us. Not me. <gasps> oh no. It's alright. If you ever play Contra, use the Konami code. You will not beat it otherwise. Okay. Okay. So it's a Konami game? Because that's what Suicoden was. I know. <laughs> Suicoden 3. And Culture says, wait, leaders are already volume. They are. Darn it. Yeah, so you could do cubic centimeters. That would work. Paying attention. Ha, there you go. Oh, I thought it didn't work. I thought so too. <laughs> I'm like, oh my gosh, we just died. Just whatever, it's fine. Or you kill it, whatever. <laughs> bye, bye, I was, birdie. I was looking for the I know, guy. the guy. Do you think he's over there? Yeah, you might be able to walk past it. I think he probably could have just walked. Like normal. You think? Yeah. Okay. Get out there. Now the question, oh, here, uh, easy. Yeah. Okay. There we go. Contra. I've never heard of Contra. Mm -mm. No, actually I have heard of it. I don't know. I don't really know anything about it. I though. feel like you've heard of a lot more games than me. That's just because, you know, Argus, Argus stays more in the loop on things. And it yeah. also because we'll watch things, um... This reminds me of The Lion King. It does. I just missed. I think I, you know, didn't jump. I should have waited a little bit longer. Um, yeah, I think Argus, he... Because he stays up to date on things, but he usually only tells me about things that he knows I'd be interested in. But then I still hear about things where like I'll see him watching someone play a game that I wouldn't be into. Mm -hmm. um, no. Okay. We'll just not worry about that. Yeah, the silver coin. Yeah. The coin for the bears. Yeah, that we never even spend anyways. Yeah. You know, I was I was talking to Mr. Rice about Christmas because he said he put a couple. Sorry, right, I. That's so annoying. I. Because <laughs> he said he put some, like, Amazon, so Amazon, you can buy, like, basic clothes, it's 
I think it's just like Amazon Basics. Yeah. But so he put some of those on his Christmas list. That game like glitched there. I don't know if you noticed. But, mm -mm. Um, but so, but then I was like, I have no idea what to even expect for Christmas because my list wasn't overly like, you know, there wasn't tons of stuff on it. Yeah. So I'm just, you know, and I'm like, but I don't need anything. So I'm fine yeah. if I don't get anything. Oh my gosh. I just like being around everybody, so. Yeah. So we'll see. We oh, gotta, no. um, I, I told you that um, my in-laws, they do a pickle present every year. Yeah. And it's always a jigsaw puzzle so that we can yeah. work on it for the rest of, you know, Christmas break. But, so the thing is, um, so my in-laws were like, okay, well, let's do the pickle present today. Like, they knew it wasn't Christmas, but they just thought, like, let's do it today. But, so the thing is, the puzzle they got this year was only 300 pieces, whereas oh, they usually so get 1,000 pieces. I know. Because the thing is... The, Did you guys finish it in, like, one day? Well, but yeah, we just finished it today. Like, I was working on it while we were watching A Christmas Story. Okay. But, um... Because the thing is, like, she would have gotten the 1,000-piece version of it, because it's, it's a pizza. Like, the puzzle is oh. round in shape, and it's a pizza with different toppings and stuff. But apparently people in the reviews said like they did the thousand piece puzzle and people left bad reviews because they're like this puzzle's so hard and stuff. But like 300 piece one, it was like kind of challenging certain, whatever, certain parts of it. No, 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 no. Use your helicopter. I, it was too late. I had already helicoptered and then let go oh. and then she fell. How's my bad? Creature 92 says, hey. Hi. Hey, Creature 92. Um, yeah, we're just talking a little bit about Christmas and uh, yeah, because it's coming up. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah. So we already did our jigsaw puzzle, but then my in-laws said that they had another puzzle they could put out for us. Oh, okay. But because um, the thing is, this break I was hoping to like oh, learn explore. more ukulele. I was okay. also thinking about teaching myself how to do um, what are they called? The braids that are like fresh braids. No, they're braids like. Like you have four strands that you oh, use. Oh, really? Fishtail braids. So I think they look cool. So I was hoping to teach myself how to do those this break. And Creatures Are Two saw Star Wars, remember? Because they oh! left early last time. They said it was amazing. Okay, hang on. Creature, so um, Argus is really, I'm asking on his behalf because I'm like, I like Star Wars. I don't really have strong opinions on it because I didn't grow up with it or anything. Um, but he was disappointed in The Last Jedi. Were you disappointed in The Last Jedi? Because I'm just wondering if he will like the new Star Wars. Arr. This part is really annoying. I bet, yeah. How are you supposed to... Oh, Hi. Hi. I see, I see. Good job. Thank you. Oh, I'd do it again. And then you could fall all the way. But it might be just well, like an optional thing. Maybe there's a bonus game up there or something. Um, okay, so Creature 92 said that they were disappointed oh, no. in the second one also. But you still liked the third one, so that's good. I yeah. was a little, so the thing that bothered me about the second one, mm -hmm. I felt like they made the, um, you gotta get to the other side of the waterfall. You can't jump on that. Oh, I feel like, didn't I have something here? Wasn't there a barrel to go in? I thought so. So my issue with The Last Jedi was I felt like they had Poe, is that his name? The uh... That's the pilot. The pilot. Yeah. I felt like they made him too, like, like we are going to do this my way. Like, I, yeah. I don't know. I, I felt like he was annoying. Well, because he didn't listen to what the, um, the new, like, chief yeah. or whatever was saying. And Who so is like, actually the, um, the main woman in Jurassic Park. I know, and she's yeah. also going to be the mom in the new Little Women movie. Oh. She's also the mom in Wilds. Okay. Which I liked Wilds, but okay, I, 
maybe I'm alone here, but I'm super excited for the new Little Women movie to come out. Well, it's I've been read reading the book, I've been, right? I'm still reading it. Okay. Oh gosh. No. I should I should watch the movie or read the book. Yeah. <clears throat> um. <laughs> Creature says it depends on why Argus was disappointed because they may yeah. be disappointed in different ways. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I I don't really. I, I so my issue with it because you know they go to like that casino planet and like yeah. nothing I mean, nothing I mean, works out for them there. You killed the bird. I know I did, but that's a, it'll be okay. Um, it just kind of seems like pointless to me. The whole like the casino world. Yeah, like nothing really happens except there's the kid there that also like clearly had the force. Yeah. But I think it was just a way to have another planet in the, yeah. in the movie. It's my my thinking. Yeah. Oh, but nice. Beat it. Yeah. But I don't really know, I don't remember what he said was the mo most disappointing thing about it. I just, I know what in general with this new trilogy, he's like not so into it. Um, I like it. Maybe it's because I like Ray. No. What's his name? No, Finn? it's Poe. Yeah, Finn. I like Finn a lot. I like Finn too, but I some people don't like him for some reason. Yeah, no, Dad here, we're not gonna we haven't even seen it yet. Creature 92. Oh yeah, yes, we, we haven't seen it. I don't think they'll spoil it for anyone. Um I'm actually because I'm gonna be seeing it sometime this break. I don't know when this like I'm not even on break oh my gosh. yet. That's scary. What is going on right now? I'm targeted. Stay alive. Gosh, between that like fish that we had to feed and this, yeah, it's kind of stressful. Yeah. One of the things I really like about Donkey Kong Country is the fact that there is no time limit. You yeah. know, and then this just kind of forces you to be in this stressed out state, and I. I don't like it. Oh, that was a good jump. It was. I didn't think you were gonna make I didn't even realize that those were like barriers to protect you. That's yeah. nice. Um, Dazier hasn't seen it either and is kind of avoiding Twitch in general to avoid spoilers. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, okay. Um, they like The Mandalorian though. Um, Argus. What's the Mandalorian. Well, so it's on Disney Plus. Um, Argus has been watching. Oh my it. gosh. Um, and Creature uh, also agrees that they hate timers on games. <laughs> oh You're doing great. You haven't even died yet. Look at you. <laughs> um, Creature92 says that um, they haven't watched The Mandalorian yet. But yeah, I have heard good things about it online. I know everybody loves Baby Yoda. That's like the most I've seen of it. It's just people on Facebook posting pictures of Baby Yoda because okay. Baby Yoda's cute and stuff. Um, but, because Argus has been watching it, I actually don't know what his opinions are on it. Oh no! Uh oh. This is a... Get out of there. There. I did. Oh gosh. No, no, no. Forget the O. Get to the shield! I'm at the shield. And we got the halfway point. Um, okay. Sorry. <laughs> Wait, so what is Mandalorian again? Oh, so but now you're stressed, so... It's like on the, uh, the guy, there's... <laughs> no. No, I'm gonna die! <laughs> um, so the Mandalorian is this, um, oh, really? This El Gavity hates Baby Yoda. Well, I just see pictures of Baby Yoda online, I'm like, people must like Baby Yoda. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't know anything, I haven't seen it. Um, well, so the last Mandalorian... Oh, no! There's, like... So, gosh, what is his name? There's like the, um... El Cavadi says if I have met him in real life, I'd be him. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so in one of the Dead original... Loves, loves Baby Yoda. Okay. <laughs> one of... In one of the original, you know, trilogy movies, there's, um... There's like Bounty Hunter, and people... I'm sorry, I left you in a horrible situation. That's okay, I'll run. Invincibility. <laughs> Invincibility for the win. Um, so there's this bounty hunter guy that kind of looks like he's got like a mask and stuff and I think it's like kind of camo and everybody thought like man this guy's so cool because he was after Han Solo because okay. uh, you know Jabba wanted him and stuff 
So um, I, th I think this is all true what I'm saying. I could be wrong. As I said, I'm not like a huge Star Wars person. Oh, I can't person. kill. I can't kill the, uh, the red guy. Anyway, so they made on Disney Plus like a whole show about the Mandalor Mandalorian, which is that I don't know if it's this particular like it's the same guy as the oh, no. or if it's um like just the same like species of being. I don't okay. know, but um, I don't remember. Someone had to give us hints on how to use spider, and I don't remember. No, I think you're doing a good job of that. No, but like, someone told us things, and I was like, wow, that's super useful, and I don't remember what those oh. hints were. Well, but I'm still, not doing it. I still default to how I always played with them. Yeah. Like yeah, me too. Gosh, I'm gonna get you though, because yeah, I'm gonna sure. feel so much better. <laughs> Can I kill that one? Um, so, Dad Two says, throwing that lurk. Glad to see you, ladies here. <laughs> good yeah. to see you, Dad Two. Yeah, good to see you too. I love Dad Two. Merry, Cri Merry Christmas, or Happy Hanukkah. You know, whatever. whatever. Yeah. Doesn't matter. But happy I feel holidays. Like, I feel like everybody kind of celebrates Christmas a little bit. I like, saw there's a shield over here. Do you think we're supposed to go left? I don't know. Might as well check it out. And Dad Two says, Merry Christmas. <laughs> Okay, there's a G. Oh, well, that didn't really help us. And El Gavati says, I only like Baby Shark. <laughs> baby Shark. Or baby things. You know, Baby Shark. Do, 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 do. Oh, oh, yeah. Baby shark. Yeah, Happy Holidays is yes. the, the correct thing to say. You know, but yeah, I, I feel like... Like the whole Santa thing, it's like not related to religion at all. So no. it's like, why not everybody just say, oh, well... Santa's here. Merry Christmas. Yeah. Oh, we're safe now. Oh. There was a sign that, was, that said uh, it was going away. That's wonderful. Um, Culture says people without kids aren't exposed to that song as much, thankfully. Oh, the uh, the baby shark yeah. song. Yeah. Yes, I agree. Yeah. But you know, I, I only know about it from people who have kids. I, I don't remember if I told you, but um, because you know, over Thanksgiving when I was like puking and stuff. Oh yeah. It's terrible. Um, so the only thing that, cause, like the whole night I was like, I felt like I had to puke, but I I knew I didn't, cause I'd already puked up everything that I had. Right. Um, but yeah, we all got some kind of it, was, like, it wasn't stomach bug or food sickness. It wasn't on Thanksgiving. It was the day after. The day after. Um, but it happened to like a whole bunch of us. Yeah, it was. I would say like maybe half the family had gotten. Uh, I'd say sickness. probably more like a quarter or a third. But um, so but the, one of the things that made me feel better because like as I was laying in bed and like uh. trying to talk myself out of feeling the need to go to the bathroom and throw up was to think of that song because really? we had heard it earlier during the trip and somehow like thinking through the song made me feel better. Baby shark. <laughs> Boston says, man, if Christmas were removed forever, I wouldn't be mad. It's too oh. much stress. Kids have too many toys. Adults have too many clothes, tools, whatever. It's just peer pressure to spend money. You know what? It, it really is. It is. And, like, I told I told my husband, I'm like, I don't really need anything. Like, most of my wish list, Everyone's like, I have to get you something because I know. it's, you know. The time for giving. <sighs> yeah. But. I mean, there's things, like, of course I want, but it's like, I don't need things. And yeah. I'm trying so hard because, like, it's going to be one of my New Year's resolutions just to, because, I mean, first of all, I always say, like, I want to be more financially responsible and, like, not buy myself things unless I actually need it. Mm -hmm. But I'm going to try harder to um, reduce, like, my amount of waste, you know, reduce, reuse, recycle. Right. So reduce is the first step, which means just don't buy new things. Yeah. So. Well, so on my wish list, like, I have a lot of different gift cards to local restaurants because the thing is, like, you know, sure, the chains are fine. Um, you know, oh, yeah, I like local I, restaurants. Like, I, like, I like Chipotle and I like Panera, um, but other than that, like you know, I don't want a Chili's or a Applebee's gift card. So, but I put gift cards to local restaurants because I love local restaurants. You know, you're supporting the local economy, and then I feel like just the menu items are more interesting yeah. in general. So I asked for a whole bunch. Like I looked at tons of restaurants in the area, and I found all the ones that have gift cards. So I and I. The ones that I wanted to try, I put on my wish list. So I hope people Which, get them honestly, for me. Honestly, I'm gonna be sad because but, you know if they don't, it doesn't yeah. matter because I don't need the gift card. It's just 
saving me a little bit of money yeah. when I do go to those restaurants. Right. Well, because I think... Um, and Blossom says that they wish they had recycling centers around here. Kentucky sucks for that. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, I would imagine. Yeah. I mean, maybe some of the, like, bigger cities maybe have them. Yeah. I know, because um, for a while I was living, like, in the middle of nowhere, and my apartment didn't have recycling. So I would go to, like, there was a recycling center that was... I don't know, maybe like five miles away. So I drive there with all my recycling, like whenever I need it. So annoying. It is super annoying because like now it's super convenient because I live in a big city and we, you know, can just put our, all of our recycling out, like on the road. And you don't have to do this every time because you already got the coin. Oh well, thanks. I would have kept doing it forever if I'm being. Honest. I, I, well, I figured <laughs> I would just tell you because these I peasants thought, are the worst. I know they are. But I lived in rural Ohio for a little bit. And one of the grocery stores did have like these recycling, I mean, they were basically like dumpsters, only it was for recycling. So I would go there with all my recyclables, but they didn't take everything. So it was, um, you know, kind of annoying, yeah. but I mean, it was still better than nothing. Yeah. I told you I've been looking into, um, so the thing is like, I really want to do composting. See, I feel like we, if we got in the right groove, we could, could just, just yeah, balance on them. You know, I, I know I'm not, I'm not going to. Okay. <laughs> um, well, so I really want to do composting. Okay, I'm gonna just try to. Well, with the stuff that might not work. Yeah. Um. So yeah, I really want to compost, but the thing is, like, I live in an apartment, so I can't get like. A tumbler thing like you have. I can't have just like a pile in the backyard. Well, but the thing um, is, right now, we're, right, because we're frozen. not composting because it's frozen and it's full. Yeah. So I'm like, well, I guess we're not composting right now either. So I think I want to do the vermi composting where you get with the worms. With the worms. So the thing is, you have like a bin and pretty much you have pet worms and you feed them your waste, <laughs> like your food waste, like the scraps and so um, they, like coffee grinds and things like that. Would they not eat, cause like in a regular compost, you can put in like dead leaves and things like that. Can you still put that in for the worms? I think you don't want leaves, but they encourage you, cause they say that the worms need bedding. So that's like, they say shredded newspaper is good. Okay. Um, cause then they'll still eat the newspaper too. Um, but yeah, I'm like super interested, and um, I didn't even realize I was like a hole. Yeah, I didn't think it was. Um, it's kind of gross, the vermicomposting, but like I won't do it unless I have a house because I'm not gonna. It just seems weird. Like they say you can have your worms and your like, they're like oh you can just store it right under your kitchen sink and like no, no. like they say it doesn't smell like it sounds pretty magical, so I want to do it. But um, it sounds really interesting. But it's like I I'd want to take a like they have classes where you can learn about doing it. Darn oh, it, you're too good. Um, so I want to take a class and just get some information. And I want to do it, but I think Argus won't be so into the idea. Yeah, <laughs> I could see that. But, I mean, he supports all my endeavors to like reduce waste and you know make sure we recycle everything and stuff. But um, you know, I just I feel bad because I'm like I kind of force him into these things. Oh no! But the thing is, because he doesn't really eat as many like fruits and vegetables as I do, so it's like anytime we do have like fruit and veggie scraps, it's because I'm making something for myself. But he eats like white potatoes, doesn't he? So like yeah, potato skins yeah can go in there. Yeah, that's a tough jump. Is this? We're running out of lives. Oh, that is one of my notes. What? That little sticky note. Oh, yeah. So I was gonna say, do you take little notes on sticky notes too? No. I write notes to myself when I'm at work. Oh, I usually write it on my hand. Oh, really? Yeah. The game totally glitched. <laughs> that's all right. We're in the same situation as we were before. I think. Yeah, I like having the compost in the back. It's just, yeah, it filled up really quick this year. And Gosh, I hate these penguins. Okay, we're skipping that bonus game. That's fine. Doing great. <laughs> these guys are so scary. Good job, you handled it like a pro. Well, it's easy when you have invincibility. Yeah, that helps. 
Yeah, it shouldn't be a blue flag. It should definitely be a pink flag. No, it's fine. Um, oh, I thought you were in control. No. Okay. We're not even gonna go there. Yeah. Oh, this is the bear. Is that the boss fight? It looks yes. like it's. How do we just go save? How do we get to that save point? Oh. Okay. Yeah, we just never went that way. Okay. Now we got three birds. <sighs> and we are nearing the end of the stream. Just. Okay. Just this so is a heads know. up. Yeah. But so you're just working tomorrow, right? You're not working Christmas Eve. Yeah. yeah. So. Um, I think, because I might just stay here, because I, he's got, it. okay. So, um, I'm working on the movie, you know, my New Year's resolution was, sorry, I died. Um, what was, are you supposed to do? I don't know. Is there any way we can catch, oh. did you catch a snowball? I threw a oh, snowball. Oh, we, oh, we can just throw them in general. Okay. That's good to know. I didn't even think to try. How did I not hit him? This is a really interesting boss fight, just saying. <laughs> But what a great world to play for Christmas. Right, that's just, what I was thinking. Just the season in general. Mm -hmm. It's frosty. Yeah. Creature says uh, we should redo all the blue flags and replace, replace them, them with pink. pink. Yeah, no, I don't think that'll happen. But she'll, you know, she's got the majority, so it'll show up as pink. Can you change your distance that you're throwing? I feel like you must be able to. Yeah. Yeah, because I'm missing. I'm gonna just dodge until he moves yeah. further back there. Oh, well. Oh. The new Frosty was Oops. so aggressive. I know. There's gotta be a way to hit him. And what did you do? I pressed down. Down? That was my guess. Okay. Yeah. I actually don't know the last time we did a snowball fight. Really long time ago. I totally hit him. The thing is, we don't get so much snow here. Like, we get enough. Well, yeah. Yeah, I guess it would be enough for a snowball fight. The blue How ball. How do I keep missing him? The blue ball on the left tells you what row he's going to be in. Oh, that's good to know. Sorry, I didn't last too long. I kept missing him when he was in the back. I thought my aim was good. Gosh. That's not so bad. No, come back. Oops. I know I walked right into that. That's okay. How many lives do we have? Seven. Seven. Oh. Oh my gosh. Oh. I was going to say that thing was slow. Sorry, I died so quick. Okay. Oh, that's that's to tell you where you're going to hit. So you can move it. When you press left or up and down, it moves that. The blue. Oh. Darn it, I walked in it again. So it's just where you're set to aim. Mm -hmm. Okay. The distance that you're set to aim. Okay. We're learning so much. I walked right into it. I understand. It's not even like that hard. I just, just panic, you know? Yeah. I guess doing this thing again. Yeah. Oh, okay. I thought, <laughs> If I can make it to that point, I think I'd be fine with that. I just panicked for this part for whatever reason. Oops. I see that. You gotta move your aim. I... But yeah, so I wanna work on the movie. My movie that I'm supposed to finish this year by the new year. Yeah, but you'll finish it soon. I know, I'm hoping to work on it tomorrow after work, because I wasn't gonna... Oh, are you not driving testing? there? I was gonna stay, I was thinking I might stay here tonight and then tomorrow night too. Oh. And then drive over on Tuesday morning. 
Then you could potentially work. I could, but I'm not going to. Yeah, I mean, that's fine. Yeah. That doesn't do yeah, I don't think you can hurt him here. You just have to dodge. Get it. <laughs> How's Dragon Prince going? Are you still watching that? We are, but we're um, we haven't watched it in a while. Okay. Well, yeah, you gotta watch all the Christmas movies. Okay, maybe I should stay in the middle then. Yeah. What? Okay. I'm gonna stay alive for so long this time. Good luck. That was close. And I walked right into it again. Ugh. Yeah. Oops. <sighs> I totally Yeah, I know you did. Totally I, I saw that. Him. You did hit him. And we saved before this. We right? did, okay. yeah. So we'll just go until we run out of lives. Yeah. Or we beat him, whichever comes first. Okay, and you totally hit him that time. I know. I just totally got him that time. What? Hit you. Yeah, so I told you I watched um, the Polar Express yesterday night. Yeah. So during the hot chocolate scene and they all drink hot chocolate. Did you have hot chocolate? No, but I was like, I told I told Argus and his mom, because everyone else was like gone to bed already. There I was go. like, I should be drinking hot chocolate right now. Because <laughs> that's the way it goes. But, you know, really that movie would make a really good... Ah! Like roller coaster. Oh, I know yeah. we've said that before, but there's a lot of different parts where they can make it a roller coaster. And be really or it could cool. be like an island of adventure. Yeah. If it was part of Universal Studios. I don't know how you're so good at dodging his snowballs. It's so hard. Oops, I pressed the wrong button. I Maybe I just jinxed I didn't you. I so well that time. <laughs> Nice. Yeah. I, You're too I know, hard. I know. I'm always too far right. Okay, now he's gonna do the part. Alright, here we go. I said I was gonna be so good at this. <laughs> so I gotta prove it. Yeah, you definitely wanna stay near the middle. Yeah. Okay, so he's gonna do the same exact yeah. thing, and then he's gonna do a part where you need to get out of the middle. Okay. You need to press down. Okay, that's the part. Ah! You didn't tell me that part! <laughs> oh, you ah. totally hit him! Got him. Hopefully that's the last hit. Nope. Oh. Okay, now he's gonna just throw two snowballs and then switch. That's super annoying. Okay, I'll just wait till he's at the front. Yeah. Oh, oh but you got him. <laughs> well, that was the Okay. Hard. Well, next time we're gonna pick up with that boss and hopefully beat him like really quick. Yeah, that was tough. Yeah. Um, <laughs> all right, well, every creature says no. no. Yeah. Next time we'll get it. Yeah. Ari says they look so sad. When's next? <laughs> um, so next will be. Well, I'm okay. So I'm New Year's back after Christmas. New Year's Day is on Wednesday mm -hmm. next week, which is our normal stream day. Yeah. So we could do New Year's Day like the night, but then I know you like to just stop here after work, and I there's do. no work on that day. So we could do Thursday. Yeah. Yeah, because Tuesday wouldn't work. Right. So yeah, we can do Thursday. Okay. So Actually, no. I have a piano lesson. Okay. On Thursday. So not Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Could you do Monday? I could do Monday. Okay. Okay. So we'll we do will do Monday. Monday next week. So, 
Yeah. All right. All right. Yeah. Thank you all for watching. Yeah. Thanks for watching. <laughs> we'll see you next when or next Monday or uh, whenever. Next Monday. Whenever next. Yep. <laughs> all right. Thanks for all watching, right. everyone. Bye. Bye. Have a Merry Christmas. Yes. Happy <laughs> holidays. Thank you.